Good evening. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, 39 years old and a Nobel Peace Prize winner, and the leader of the nonviolent civil rights movement in the United States was assassinated in Memphis tonight. A sniper's bullet cut down Dr. King as he stood on a hotel balcony in Memphis. Within an hour, Dr. King was dead. That happened at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. The nation was shocked. President Johnson expressed horror and then postponed his trip to Hawaii until tomorrow. We're going to go to Memphis now and talk to ABC's Tom Gerald, who is on the scene. Here in Memphis, of course, a great deal of shock, a great deal of confusion, and a great deal of uh, uh, some violence. I can't say a great deal because I don't really know. I do know that uh, police are very concerned that the fire department are, is moving uh, units around the streets and that uh, there is some rock throwing and some fires reported and some shooting. The full extent of, at, at this time from this vantage point can't be uh, assessed. Uh, the full curfew has been imposed on the streets of Memphis. Everyone except emergency vehicles uh, are being cleared from the streets. The National Guard, which had been on duty here uh, up until late last night, they have been recalled to duty and uh, are being put on the streets of Memphis right away. Of course, a great deal of confusion and chaos uh, resulting from the announcement here that Dr. King had died. It was a very great shock for something like this to happen. The uh, shooting occurred at the Lorraine Motel. It was a favorite place for civil rights leaders and for Negro businessmen to stay uh, here in Memphis. Yeah. 